What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of the Redskins Rebuild. So right now, we have one mission, y'all. One mission in this video is to make the greatest secondary ever. Now, as you can see in this screen, we're going to lose Fred Smoot because his, his contract is expiring. I'm not going to deal with him. Don't want to mess with him. Our cap number is not the best, okay? We are reaching the salary cap limit, and we don't want to spend a dime over, but we have to make this team a Super Bowl contender, all right? For free agency, there's nobody that I'm really messing with, okay? So let me recap what happened last episode. Last episode, we ended up putting Champ Bailey back on the Washington Redskins, just making sure that, that trade never happened with him and Clint Portis. So the Redskins, we have a hole at running back. What do we do? We end up getting Steven Jackson, who was in the same draft as Sean Taylor. So we have our future running back, have our future safety. We have an all-pro at cornerback in Chan Bailey. Now I'm looking to add another corner via a trade. But first things first, you already know if you watched last episode that I want to get Santana Moss. Okay, the Redskins ain't right without Santana Moss, if you had to ask me. And we know that our receivers, they were dropping some passes. Now, if you look at Santana Moss, salary cap number it's pretty outrageous okay he must have signed a new deal or something because he's getting five million dollars per year i'm like i don't know if we can afford that here in washington okay our salary cap situation is not the best now mark brunell he has about i think four point something 4.4 4.5 is his deal so i'm like okay the numbers kind of match up we could get a premier receiver we're still gonna have to get a quarterback but at least we can get a receiver the jets are like nah not happening so I'm like, you know what? Let this let let's just make the whole world know that we don't we ain't messing with Mark Brunell. So we end up training our first round pick in this center for Matt Hasselback. Okay, okay. Now I'm feeling our quarterback situation a little bit more. Last episode when we got to the playoffs, we had a hard time moving the ball. I don't like that. Okay, I don't like not being able to move the ball. Who doesn't like to move the ball? Okay, Steven Jackson, he played all right, but at the end of the day, our passing game wasn't the best. So that's why I'm trying to get Santana Moss. And I'm trying to get a quarterback. Now, we failed on getting Santana Moss, but we are definitely, we definitely have a quarterback of the future and of right now. And Mark Brunell, it's time for you to go. Now, if you're thinking about why I did this, Mark Brunell is kind of at the end of his career. So I think that he's going to go down overall wise. And I think Matt Hasselbeck will steady be 89 90 overall. So, right here, we're trying to get Mark Brunell out of here. We offered him to the Bears. We gave Mark Brunell to the Bears for Peanut Tillman. The reason why I wanted to make that trade is because Peanut Tillman's salary cap number for this season is at 180k. I'm not 100, 880, 860k, 860k. I believe it was is what it was. And again, right now I'm worried that we don't even have enough money to sign our draft picks. Okay, that's how bleak it is here in Washington. Okay, the Washington Redskins, we need a financial bailout at this point, man. So, anyways, we try to do that trade. Okay, that didn't really work out. Now, a dream secondary for me, Charles Woodson, Champ Bailey, and Sean Taylor. That really didn't work out, but don't worry, I'm still on a mission. My mind is set up, okay? I got a master plan. We are on a mission to try to get a second corner or safety to make this secondary scary, okay? Now, we only have six draft picks because our first round pick went to Seattle for uh, Matt Hasselbeck, right? So I'm like, okay, we got to get outside linebacker. We got to get corner. We got to get receiver. So we do that with our first three picks. We end up getting Garcia right here. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm not really too mad, right? We also get another corner right there. So we have outside linebacker, two corners. We have to get our center because we lost him in the Matt Hasselbeck trade as well. We already got our receiver. We got another linebacker right there. However... I know we can't sign everybody because in order for me to make this second that I want to make, we are going to have to cut corners when it comes to signing people. So my man Webb, I'm like, we can't give you what you want. Let's give you 500k over two years. I want to take that deal if I was playing in the NFL. He doesn't take that deal. I try to sweeten it a little bit by giving him 70,000 extra. He's still not feeling it. Doesn't want to talk no more. So get up out of here. Not going to sign him. You don't want to be here. We don't want you here. Let's shake hands. Part ways. Exactly what we do. So now we're back on the trade block. We have to get rid of Mark Brunell. I'm not going to have two quarterbacks making over $4 million this one season on the roster. Not going to happen. I'm not Jerry Jones. <laughs> Anyways, man. We, get, we try to get Ed Reed. The Baltimore Ravens, smart by them, like, we're not having it. Now, the Redskins, not the Redskins, but the Raiders, I'm going back to them. 
I want Charles Woodson. He's only 84 overall, might not be the best overall corner, but in my mind, he's Charles Woodson. Forget what the game says, he's Charles Woodson. So Mark Brunel, with not our current first round pick, but our current, our, our first round pick from next year, next season's first round pick, going to Oakland. Mark Brunel is an Oakland Raider. That pick is now an Oakland Raiders pick, but we get Charles Woodson. I'm happy. I'm happy. Charles Woodson on one side, Champ Bailey on another side, and we already got Sean Taylor. I'm a happy man. I'm a happy man. So we got Arizona week one. That's the L. We got Philadelphia. That's the L. I'm spending all this money. I don't know if I showed you guys our salary cap situation. We have no money to spend. I believe the salary cap for this year was like 76 point eight something right 76 million point eight hundred thousand something like that right we are right there we have spent all the money that we can spend trying to get this team to a super bowl usually i'm trading all my first round picks like it's hot cakes we actually drafted some people that actually gonna have an impact on our season right right now the impact they have isn't that great we are five and five we are five and six if we don't win out we ain't making the playoffs baby it ain't gonna happen it ain't gonna happen Seven and six, I'll take that. Denver, okay, we'll take that win too. Eight and six. We got the Giants, division foe, and we have the Eagles to finish out the regular season and we beat both of them. I'm a happy man. Ten and six is good enough to get us to the playoffs. If the Packers would have won one more game because they beat us in the regular season, they would have held the tiebreaker and we would have been in so much trouble. Arizona's number one seed, man. Arizona is the number one seed. How is that possible? How does something like that happen? Well, Arizona has a young Larry Fitzgerald, they have a young Anquan Broden, and they have a very old Brett Favre that can still sling that rock. That's right, Brett Favre was an Arizona Cardinal. Arizona Cardinal. If I knew that I could have got Brett Favre, trust me, I would have got him. But hey, I'll take Matt Hasselbeck. I'm not mad. Let's go out here, play some football, and get this freaking trophy. So we're here in Chicago, Wild Card Weekend. You saw it. The Arizona Cardinals got first round by. The Eagles got first round by. So we have to hit the road to Chicago. Steven Jackson, he's running hard. I'm loving it. I'm feeling good. I'm liking our chances of winning this game and, of course, moving on. Right there we find Garcia. Adam Garcia, he's already making plays. This rookie, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Okay, I'm feeling good. Unfortunately, Brian Erlacher and the Bears defense, they shut us down as we get into the red zone, and we have to set up for a field goal. Here come the Bears right back. Thomas Jones is gone. We're not going to catch him. Okay, our secondary is nice. I'm feeling Charles Woodson. Of course, Sean Taylor. I'm feeling him too. Chan Bailey shut down Supreme Corner. I'm feeling it. One problem is our defensive tackle position isn't the best. So anyways, we give it that long touchdown. Now we're back on offense. Drop at the pass is Matt Hassel back, and he's going to find Gardner. First down, move those chains. Would have loved to have, have Santana Moss. Don't get it twisted. Would have loved to have Santana Moss. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. Right there, Garcia. He's going <coughs> to cough up the football, and it's bad. But hey, I thought that it was a fumble. Okay, I'm lying to you. I didn't think it was a fumble, and we got the booth review. They didn't think it was a fumble either, but keep that play in mind, because it's going to haunt us again. Some point in this video is going to haunt us. Keep that in mind. Anyways, dropping back the pass again. We go right back to Garcia. We trust you. We trust you, man. Unfortunately, we go to Garcia one more time in the end zone. This one gets picked by Basher, and we end up going to 7-3 seven, seven, deficit going into halftime. So coming out of halftime, we get the ball first. Look at that pass. And Gardner with a beautiful catch. What a dot by my man Matt Hasselbeck. Dropping back the pass one more time over the middle of the Coles. Move those change another first down going to the flag got steven jackson picks up the first down running hard that's what i like to see we are now in the bears red zone doing our thing looking down field is matt hasselbeck to coles now we are inside the 10 we got this big young halfback with steven jackson take it take it right to the goal line right to the end zone touch down redskins last chance for the bears and those user skills on point man i got my sack baby I got my sack. That's going to do it for Wild Card Week Weekend. 10-7. to 7. That's the final. We move on to the divisional round. We're going to be taking on the Arizona Cardinals and Brett Favre. They have Larry Fitzgerald and Quan Bolden. They have Johnson. And now they have Brett Favre. But we have a great secondary. <laughs> we have a great secondary. So I'm thinking 
let's shut this team out, bruh. Let's shut them out. I see the record. 13 and 3. They freaking did their thug fizzle. Okay, they did their thug fizzle. They did the darn thing, man. But nah. I made this secondary just for teams like this. Just for the Eagles. Just for Randy Moss and the big boss over there in Minnesota. And just for Lady Fitzgerald and Crump Bolden and Brett Fox. So right there, boom, right down the field, Coles. We come out hot on fire. Look at this, man. Another catch over the middle. Doing our thing. Drop at the pass one more time to Coles. And yet again, doing our thing. That's what I'm talking about. We get the ball right back. Going to Coles again. Wilson, I don't know what you were doing, number 24 for Arizona. Like, that should have been a pick, but hey, better be lucky than good on this channel. You best believe that. Now, right here, he bobbles it, but ends up making the catch. Runs away from everybody. 14-0 towards the end of the second quarter. We're doing our thing. Brett Favre, though, he's like, I'm Brett Favre, and I want another championship. Boom, up top to Johnson. Boom. Yo, bro, that's a no-fly zone. If you see 24 and 21, we're wearing the Redskins jersey. You know it's a no-fly zone, okay? Chant Bailey, Sean Taylor, don't do that. Now he's going to try Charles Woodson? Yeah, no. Nah. Don't do that, okay? This secondary is bananas. Drop him at the pass in my... I mean, now the linebackers want picks. The linebackers are getting picks. We are now doing our thing. So, last chance for Arizona to stop us. We, they use all their timeouts. Look at Steven Jackson milking the clock, but taking it to the crib. This game is over. This is what I envisioned with this team. Like, no lie. No lie. Grounding and pounding with that strong running guy. Being able to pass the ball with an elite quarterback. And Matt Hasselbeck. I know he ain't Brady. I know he ain't Manning. You know what I mean? But at this point in his career, he was still pretty freaking good. Because this would have been the year that Seattle goes to the Super Bowl, I believe. This would have been Super Bowl 40 because this would have been Madden 06. If there would have been an ESPN for 2K6, it would have been that season. But now we're in the championship game. Win a championship game. Winner is going to take on either the Colts or I believe it's the Chiefs. I believe the Chiefs upset the Patriots. So if we win this game, we're going to the Super Bowl, Washington. First time in a long time, we going to the Super Bowl. But of course, we got to take on T.O. But I built this secondary just to defeat T.O. So if our offense can protect the football and move the ball consistently down the field and put some points on the board, we will win because this secondary will do its thing. So first drive, just like the first drive versus Chicago, we move down the field, the drive stops, but we're able to get three. So every single drive, first drive of every single playoff game, we end up getting some points. And then my man Sean Taylor. Sean freaking Taylor. Sean Taylor with the pick. Diamond McNabb, you fool. You can't test Sean Taylor, baby. Then we go up I got with my man Stephen Jackson. 10 nothing at the end of the first half. Right there. He throws it directly to Chan Bailey. He must have forgot that Chan Bailey plays for the Redskins. Let's freaking go. Right here, drop at the pass, nobody's open, we freaking eat a sack, it's alright, Javon Kerr still playing well, still doing his thing, got to set up for another field goal, kick us up, and the kick is good, 13-0 is now the score. We have a chance to put a chokehold on this team, but then Brian Dawkins, what up family, he gets a freaking pick, and it, we are in trouble, we are in trouble, the flag was clipping on the Eagles for when Brian Dawkins was doing his interception return, so backs him up a little bit. Does not matter. Westbrook, he's able to take it to the crib. Touchdown, Philly, 13-6. Remember that play I told you about earlier in the game? Well, it happens again right here. They rule the fumble. There's less than two minutes in the second, in the first half. So I can't challenge it. So I'm thinking they're going to challenge it for me. The challenge never comes. No way he had possession of that football. It was just like the play that happened in Wild Card Weekend versus the Bears. But... What, it might be because it's in Philly, and we know how Philly gets down, but I didn't get no call. Then Charles Woodson gets beat by Terrell Owens, and oh my gosh, we just gave up a lead. It's now 14 to 13. Here come the Eagles right back in between Champ, in between Sean Taylor. There goes that man again. It is, I thought it was T.O. Now I'm even more mad. I thought that was T.O. that caught it when I was playing it. But I was freaking Pinkston or whatever his name is. That's T.O. right there. And he did beat Chan Bailey right there. But John might have passed one more time. Fits it into the fenders. What is going on? T.O. is starting to go off. It might not matter how many good defenders, defenders we have. It's not going our way. Right here, we get some luck. There's nothing wrong with getting some luck, baby. And we end up getting a fumble. It was a backwards pass. However, 
they would challenge it and it would turn out to be a four pass or just right down the line and that again is considered a four pass so here we go over the middle that's going to be caught touchdown philly 21 unanswered points we have to come back in a major way Hasselback, i don't run but let me use my legs big fella and that's exactly what he does i love you man Hasselback, for that doing everything that he can to get this dub drop at the pass one more time we find adam garcia who is a fantastic rookie receiver what he does is freaking phenomenal. Drop him at the pass one more time, and we are going to be denied. So now it is third and eight because my man forgot his hands at home. Anyways, we go up top to tight end. He can't hang on to that. So now you have to try for a field goal. The kick is up. And the kick is no good. 21-13. We have to get something going our way. I get another user sack, and this time Donovan is out. He is out. For the rest of the game we messed him up i don't want nobody to get hurt best believe it but hey i'll take it champ belly with the pick not just a pick but a pick six champ belly to the crib that's why you're back in washington let's go 21 19 we gotta go for two to tie it up stephen jackson that's why you're here in washington baby everybody's stepping up 21 21 with 345 to go in the ball game right there i almost lost it i was like no don't let him catch him but we let him catch luckily we got that tackle right there to go up top we deny that pass being completed so now we're gonna toss the ball just trying to milk the clock going to overtime but we actually get a pretty good run i'm like you know what let's call a timeout 15 more yards we're in field goal range 15 more yards, we're on field. Off of Gardner's hands. Y'all saw me try to trade him for Santana Moss. Gardner, if we were to continue this, he wouldn't be back next year, man. Now, I do want to do a lot, a lot of these. So let me know down in the comment section below which one you want to see next. Y'all know how many games I got when it comes to football. I got a bunch of them. Let me know. Back to this game. Over the middle, huge catch. I'm like, oh, no. No, 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 not like this. They find Smith, big time catch. Westbrook gets brought to his back by Sean Taylor, but nice run by him nonetheless. Third and in inches, LaVar Arrington. Yo, this was college football? This was like the greatest college football team ever. We got a Heisman winner in, Ch in Charles Woodson, you know, Champ Bailey, all these guys. But back to the action, I throw a pick. But check out the replay. Look at what Dawkins does. Look at what he is guarding the tight end. He is on the, it's man coverage. He's going to tight end and peels back to intercept that pass. I thought I had a clear lane. I was wrong. And we end up dropping in the NFC Championship game. We should have won this game. We had everything going our way early on. We had all the momentum on our side. And we lose to the Division 4 Eagles. It sucks, man. Like I said earlier, me as a GM, I will bounce back. We're going to take another team. It could be ESPN for 2K5. It could be Madden 17, Madden 90, maybe not Madden 98. Maybe Madden 2001, all the way up to Madden 17. I ain't mad. We can get things popping. Check out the stats. We only had 99 passing yards, 79 on the ground. But it was really a defense, a battle, defensive struggle. And our defense played well. I mean, T.O. is T.O. T.O. had a fantastic game. But that's T.O. in his prime. So, hey, he's going to get his. But for the most part, we had this game won. We gave up a 13-point lead, then we tied it up, went to overtime, and we threw a costly pick. We should be going to the Super Bowl to take on what Kansas City and Philadelphia beats Kansas City 10-3. But hey, man, it is what it is. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a lot of fun to do. I figured I'd do a little face cam for you guys to see how that goes. But if you enjoyed it, give this video a big thumbs up. Why not share it with a couple of your friends if you're new? Feel free to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. I should have that defensive player through the years up for the weekend and maybe another rebuild as well. But that's going to wrap it up. Hope the, best, the, uh, hope the rest of your day is the best of your day. I'm going to see you guys next time. Peace. Hot sauce. Uh-uh. <laughs>